Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my what I got for my 23rd birthday because I've had another trip around the sun and my family and friends and loved ones very kindly decided that they were going to celebrate that with me by giving me some lovely presents which I thought would be rude not to share with you so we sat down today, we're going to go through them. I actually love these videos, I can't lie, or what I got for Christmas or what I got for my birthday, what I got for my push present, whatever, I don't care. Show me what you've got. I love them. I'm nosy. So I thought I'd sit down today and share with you all my presents. So we're going to get on with it. We're going to stop rambling. We're going to start off with this. I don't want to give favourites. I don't want to be that person. But she may be my favourite. And that is because I've been wanting her for a long time. <laughs> I have a Dyson Air up. Oh my goodness me. I have wanted one of these for the longest time. The amount of times I have gone onto TikTok and I've been scrolling and people are like, um, oh, how do you get your bouncy blow dry? And then they're like, oh, this is how. And they like post a tutorial and they're always using a bloody Dyson Air Wrap. And I'm like, oh my God, I want my hair to look like that, but I don't have the tool. Well now, ladies and gentlemen, I do. Josh, my boyfriend, very kindly got me a Dyson Air Wrap for my birthday. I haven't even used her yet. I am literally, I have been so reserved and I can't believe I've waited this long, but my birthday was a week ago. And then yesterday, the hair got chopped. Um, she is quite short. Don't know if I'm loving her. Do think I like it a little bit longer, but anyway. I wanted to wait until I had my hair cut to try out the Dyson. But then obviously when I got my hair cut yesterday, I got it blow dried by the um, hair straightener. Hair straightener? By the hairdresser. So I haven't wanted to like try the Dyson out yet because I'm trying to make my hairdresser hair prolong last do you know what i mean anyway basically what i'm trying to say is i haven't yet used her but i literally cannot wait to comes in this gorgeous box i mean it's quite a big box i don't really know josh was like where are you gonna keep that like are you gonna keep that out are you gonna put it away i was like i don't really know because she's quite a large and in charge box where's it gonna go i don't know don't care um it's navy love it and then inside i just feel like the box is so pretty like do i want to put it away in a drawer but then like do i want it out all the time i don't know questions i need to ask myself which i have already asked myself i'm not being funny but what are these curtain bangs doing today don't know anyway this is her say hello to my dyson um i don't know what color this is but it's a nice color nonetheless i don't know what color is called but it's like a gray with like a brass kind of color i don't really know it's like this color see gray brass what color of dyson called that i don't know but she's here i literally cannot wait to use her i've got all the attachments like the little flyaway thing which has still got like the cardboard attached to the bottom of it i literally cannot wait to try this out i know some people have them and just don't really get it and just don't really think they work and then other people have them and love them and i feel like this because there's like a bit of a knack to it so i feel like it might take me a little bit of trial and error to actually get it to like work and like learn how to properly use it but i literally cannot wait and I cannot believe I have her in my hands and I'm so excited about it. And then let me just pop her on the floor. My parents got me this, which I had my eye on. I said I was gonna ask for this for Christmas, but they were out of stock for Christmas. But luckily I was born like 24 days or something. I don't actually know the precise amount. My birthday's on the 18th of January, so do the maths. I'm born that many days after Christmas. So if I can't get something for Christmas, I normally can get it for my birthday because they normally do a January stock. It's very, very handy. Um, and I got this. If you've been watching my weekly vlogs, you'll have seen. I've had my arm this bag for a little while and I was like, I'm going to get that for Christmas. I'm going to get that for Christmas. But I got it for my birthday. Uh, but anyway, it's one of these like swim wild bags. So basically, again, if you don't watch the weekly vlogs, you won't know. But when I'm in Cornwall at my house there, I absolutely love going like cold water swimming, swimming in the sea. It's just, I absolutely love it. And it's something I'm really getting into. And then I saw one of my favourite coffee shops in Cornwall was starting selling these bags. And I just felt like I needed it. I have an obsession with bags, especially super large oversized tote bags like this. And it just says swim wild on it. Because obviously like swimming in the sea and things like that is classed as wild swimming. Um, so I just thought it would be perfect to put like my dry robe in, my swimming shoes, like a change of clothes. Like everything I need to go for a swim in the sea, this will fit in. It's absolutely perfect. And it's black and it's got this like cream detail. It's from the brand... Um, the Cornish Studio. They do a different, like a few other tote bags, and they also do loads of colours in this bag if anyone is interested. But the black and the beige, does it get much more me? I don't think so. I literally cannot wait to use this. I just feel like it looks so nice and it makes me feel like professional, like a professional sea swimmer, even though I don't even think that's a thing. But it makes me feel the part, you know, like all the gear, no idea, that kind of thing. I literally love her. So pleased with this. I don't know why I get so excited over like big slogan tote bags, but apparently I do. I just love them. I have a bunch of presents in this little Lululemon bag, so I feel like we should go with her next. I love, you know, like does anyone else do this like christmas and birthdays like i love to just leave my presents in a pile for a little while for like a few days after the event like after i've opened them i like to just leave them in a pile so i can just like look at them and stuff and then when my mum's had enough of them being set out she's like right you need to take these upstairs to your room and i like to then just keep them in a pile there so having them all in a little bag is really handy don't know if i'm the only one next up though i've got a perfume i got another joe malone perfume which i absolutely love because joe malone are my favorite perfumes they just feel fancy they smell delicious and i just wanted to get another one to add to the collection so this one is nectarine blossom and honey which is a bit more of like a summery it's delicious it's like really sweet fruity i'm really bad at explaining scents but i'm probably going to save this more for the summer 
I've got wood sage and sea salt, which I feel like is a really good like all year round one. And then this one's gonna be like my summer tan skin, sun on the face, ice cream van coming around the road at like 6 p.m. on a Sunday evening for me to get a Mr. Whippy, that kind of vibe. It literally smells delicious. And I just feel like perfume is such a nice gift because like it's not something that I normally buy myself because it's so expensive, but getting it as a gift feels very luxurious. And now I can always look at this bottle and be like, I got that for my 23rd birthday and it's gonna remind me of going to an outdoor spa and stuff. If you wanna see what I did on my birthday, actually, I did do a weekly, um, I did vlog it. Again, if you're not watching the weekly vlogs, you're really missing out on that content. So I'll leave it linked down below if you wanna see what I actually got up to my birthday. Um, next up, I feel like it's rude seeing as we're in a Lululemon bag to not show you what I got from Lululemon. Uh, my dad got me, I say my dad, so basically like my mum and my dad get me like joint presents, but my dad likes to get me like a couple of bits that he's picked out himself. And then my mum likes to get me a bit, a couple of bits that she's picked out herself. Does that make sense? Um, so my dad picked, well, I say my dad picked this, I kind of picked it for him, but it's this black Lululemon headband because I just thought this would be so nice for like going for a run. I'd probably like wear this to yoga, to be honest. I'd even probably wear this when I'm not working out for just like an athleisure vibe if I'm wearing like, you know, like leggings and stuff. It's just got the Lululemon logo in the middle. And then it has got like this kind of band inside it that is meant to like keep your hair in place. It's the Lux Treme Training Headband and it says, keep your hair in place while you work out. This sweat wicking headband hugs your head in all the right places. And yeah, it's got like this little like, um, strip in it that's meant to keep your hair in place as well. I just thought this was really nice and I just really liked it for like running, yoga, like I just said, I'm repeating myself, it's a little headband and I love me a bit of blue lemon so I couldn't resist. And then next up in the bag, this is quite a fun bag actually, we have, wait my bra shut's falling down, I need to tighten it because this is really getting on my nerves. We have the Summer Fridays jet lag mask. Now I have wanted to try this for the longest time, but I don't know if I'm like anybody else is the same, but I have like these products I really wanna try. They're always in the back of my mind. When I see them, I'm like, oh yeah, I really wanna try that. But I just never get around to buying them. I never get around to purchasing them, decide to spend my money on something else. Finally, after about four, five, I feel like Sophia and Chinzy raved about this years ago, and I don't know if I've just imagined that or not, but I feel like it might've been them or something. I've literally wanted to try this for years basically, and I finally have it. Um, and it's like a face mask, but you can use it as just a moisturizer as well. It says, use as a nightly mask, daytime moisturizer, or in flight skin saver um, and it's just meant to be amazing for your skin and I'm all here for the glowy hydrated skin and I'm so excited to try this this is what it looks like love the packaging it's in like a kind of toothpaste like metal tube I haven't tried it yet I actually haven't tried out any of my birthday stuff because I've been so dedicated to this video and saving it to show you before I actually use them but now I can finally use this I'll let you know how I get on with it and what I think of it in the weekly vlogs and stuff but I literally cannot wait to try this out and then we have these which are so fun and I'm so excited about these these are from mrs potts which is a chocolate house in bath i also think they have one in bristol but whenever i go to bath for like a little solo day i love going there for hot chocolate sitting reading my book it's so nice and they make these little homemade marshmallows and one thing about me i love marshmallows like i'm very weird with this but i will just eat marshmallows on their own which some people find really bizarre don't get me wrong i love a toasted marshmallow chuck a marshmallow and hot chocolate i'm all for it but i do also love to just munch on a marshmallow and these were like homemade big giant vanilla marshmallows and i just thought these would be perfect for like a really nice luxurious hot chocolate toasting them on the fire just eating them on their own all of the options above i just thought these would be really nice for and again it's just one of those nice things that like i wouldn't normally buy these for myself but then when my dad was like can you give me some ideas for your birthday i was like actually you could get me these because i would love to try them but like again like i said i just wouldn't really spend my own money on them but to get them as a present it's really nice and then the last thing in this bag don't worry the video's not over, we still have some more things. Uh, but the last thing for this little bag is this Joe and Seth's The Ultimate Gourmet Popcorn Selection Classic Collection. That is a mouthful. It's like this giant popcorn, 12 packs of popcorn inside with different flavours. So there's two salted caramel, two toffee apple and cinnamon, two orange chocolate, two caramel and Belgian chocolate. <gasps> two caramel and white chocolate oh my god i didn't properly read that when i opened this i didn't know that was there and then two classic caramel um i think they're just gonna be like little mini should we have a look actually i've not had a look at this yet but i think they're gonna be like little mini like snack bags almost which i think is a really nice idea actually because you know like normally i have a big bag of popcorn i fancy popcorn one night and then i don't fancy it again for like two more months and then by the time i crave it again it's gone stale whereas this is like the perfect size oh my god these are so cute look at how cute that is so that's just like one little pack it's quite handy because i get very hangry uh, i'm a hungry girl i eat a lot of food and if i haven't eaten for a while i actually get to a point where i feel like i'm gonna pass out so these little bags of popcorn are quite handy to just like keep in my car and keep in my bag if i need an emergency snack and it also means i can try loads of different flavors of popcorn so we love that and then we do have another bag of presents <laughs> this one again is just like jam-packed with loads of like random little bits from different people so oh my god wait this isn't in the bag and I almost forgot about this. My brother got me this. 
Look at how cute this is. Oh my God, it's Billy and Reggie on a jumper. Let me just move that out of the way a second. My brother got my dogs embroidered on this jumper. And I actually think it really looks like them. I don't know whether like he sent them in a picture and they embroidered the jumper from a picture. I think he must have because I don't get how they look this much like them. Do you know what I mean? So this one looks like Reggie and this one looks like Billy. And the boy knows me well. He got this in an extra large because he knew I'd want it like big and oversized. He's like, you're probably not gonna wear it out of the house. It's just like dog walking in the house type thing. So you're gonna want it to be comfy. And I was like, absolutely. Like, do I want a jumper in an extra small? No, I don't. If it says a size six is an extra small, I don't care. I want it in an extra large. I want my jumpers big. And it's a lovely beige color. Literally so me. How cute is this? It's literally flipping adorable. And then my brother did also get me a milk frother, but he is actually gonna change it because um, I want like a milk frother that does both hot and cold froth because i really like to do like the starbucks cold brews with the cold foam at home that was a little bit of mouthful dr zeus and my poet um and the one he got me just does hot foam so he's going to change that for me so i don't have that um and then also not in the bag josh got me a collar he did also get me um a couple of like clothing bits like a bikini um just like a plain black bikini like a little bralette quite a few little like clothing bits and stuff but most of them i've just left at his house just and i've got like clothes at his all the time you know like i was gonna say in case of an emergency but like when do you really need a bikini in case of an emergency but josh has a hot tub so like if we decide we want to go in it and i haven't brought a bikini with me it's just handy to have one at his you know like examples like that so i don't have them with me there is a little bit of pollen left there he is rolling around in his little cage there. <laughs> why is he rolling like that i don't know there is a little bit left of him but he has been very much devoured and then josh did also get me a bunch of roses but these are kind of on their last legs they're starting to get that really funky smell to them and they are starting to die but he did also buy me some flowers which is so sweet so there are the bits not in the bag now we can actually like i was talking about go into the bag and show you the bits in here that i got so this is so random and very boring to most people but this is something that i asked for i didn't really know what to ask for for my birthday there are a few things that i wanted like the bag and a new perfume but i didn't really know what else i wanted but this is something that i needed and i was going to buy myself so i just said to mom like do you know what if you want to get me this for my birthday then go for it um, it's a little hydration flask for my running basically it's a tiny little um like fold up one but to be honest this is actually going to be so handy like even once I've ran the marathon and stuff this is so uh, to be fair on here it says cycling running hiking winter sports and climbing but even just like you know for going on a long dog walk or something you can fill it up with water and then when you finish the water it just folds up really really small and it doesn't take up much space and I do have like a little um like running no like a water pouch in my running what is the word running vest in my running vest i do have a water pouch in there but i just wanted like another little bottle just to like give me a little bit more water does that make sense really boring i'm not gonna keep rambling about that but this is for my running for my marathon training how fun is that <laughs> and then my other brother got me these which are starbucks blonde espresso roast coffee um basically i love the starbucks um blonde roast coffee especially like a starbucks iced caramel macchiato blonde roast delicious chef's kiss making my mouth water just thinking about that now and for christmas my other brother got me a like starbucks cold brew machine and i really wanted to get some nice coffee to go in that so i thought getting the espresso roast would be perfect and then once i've got my new milk frother i can then do like an at-home starbucks cold brew with like flavored coffee cold foam do you know what i mean because i absolutely love them from starbucks and i wanted some nice coffee beans to be able to do that with and then he also got me some candy kittens wild strawberry i have been wanting to tuck into these two bags of sweets all week but then i thought no georgie just wait till you film the video then tuck into them i mean i'm sure you wouldn't have minded if i'd have nicked a few from the bag but there was something about me that made me just want to like keep it all nice and fresh and um, so i got candy kittens wild strawberry and candy kittens eaten mess my two favorite flavors now i can finally tuck into them again my mouth is watering at the thought of these like sour strawberry ones i have fed myself this morning i don't know Know why my mouth is watering so much but apparently it is from josh's parents they got me a pair of ski socks which is so so handy because josh and i go skiing in march yeah we're going skiing in march so i've got some nice ski socks for that um which will be really handy because i think i've only got i have got some ski socks but they are so many years old like literally so 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 many years old and i think i've only got one pair i want to say so basically a lovely fresh new clean pair of ski socks is literally ideal um and they're a really cute pattern and they're gonna keep me nice and warm and then they also got me this which i would probably also take skiing uh which is just like this little black i'll probably wear this actually not just for skiing but also for like dog walks and stuff because it is so warm like it's like kind of insulated on the inside and it's just got like it's like a little black beanie kind of thing with the fur i love me a little bit of faux fur and some headwear when i'm like either skiing swimming in the cold sea going for a cold dog walk don't know what it is put a fur headband around me maybe it's the country girl in me 
but I bloody love it. And then we have a couple other little bits left in this bag. So I've got a box of Lint Lindor for my grandma, who very also kindly, does that make sense? Very also kindly gave me some money, which is very lovely of her. And then Josh got me this Ben and Jerry's Tony's Chocoloni White Strawberry Cheesecake Chocolate Bar. Ben and Jerry's and Tony's Chocoloni put together absolutely ideal for me. The boy did good with this. It was kind of like a no brainer, like anything Ben and Jerry's you buy me and I'll probably love you. So we have that. And then last but not least, my mum and dad got me the Cadbury Caramel, which I don't actually think I've tried yet. I've seen it, but I don't, have I tried it? I don't want to spread lies here, but I don't think I have. Um, so they got me a bar of this. It feels so nice as well. Like it's so like, um, like it's thinner than the normal dairy milk. It feels really like smooth and sleek. Don't know why. That's not really going to matter soon because this is going to be devoured. Um, but it's like golden caramelly chocolate, white, white chocolate, delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Cannot wait. I have so many delicious chocolates and snacks to tuck into now, which I literally cannot wait for because... Like I said, I've been very patient. I've been waiting to film this video before I devoured everything. And now the consumption can finally start. So yes, that is it for what I got for my birthday. Thank you to everyone that got me something, gave me a card, wished me a happy birthday. So, so many lovely messages. So thank you all so much. Thank you all for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I will see you at some point soon in another video. Bye.